Michael Burry's warning, China's worsening economic collapse is now about to hit the U.S. economy and markets. Michael Burry is the king of short selling. He foresaw the dot-com bubble, 2008 recession, and is now predicting the biggest market crash in U.S. history. Burry recently warned about a vast array of indicators that may be pointing towards a massive crash ahead. But this video is not a typical market crash video. I'm simply going to objectively present and analyze the implications of China's situation and several indicators. The purpose of this video is not to spread fear, but to inform you about the serious risks ahead. Today we're going to talk all about the China's worsening economic collapse and what Michael Burry just said about this. So watch the video till the end, because today's video is going to be the bomb. Welcome to Michael Burry Secrets, your daily dose of Michael Burry. If you're interested in everything around Burry, this is the place for you. Subscribe if you want to stay updated with all the Michael Burry secrets, predictions, and stay one step ahead in the financial world. Watch the video till the end, and make sure to hit the like button if you want to be a millionaire within the next three years. Don't forget to enable all notifications to join our weekly cash giveaways in the comments. Now let's get to our topic. Michael Burry always puts his money where his mouth is, and usually makes large sums of money. From 2000 to 2008, Burry averaged a return of 28.6% per year, and from 2016 to the present day, Burry averaged a return of 22.8% per year. These kinds of returns are on par with the greatest investors in the world. But this isn't to say that Michael Burry knows exactly when the market is going to crash. Timing market crashes is extremely difficult, and Burry is not immune to that difficulty. One of Burry's investors once said that a classic Burry trade goes up by 10 times in value, but first goes down by half. This type of pattern may be occurring again. Michael Burry was early to the 2008 recession and could be early again. Burry first warned of a market crash in December 2020, so he's likely down on his positions at the moment. Nevertheless, Michael Burry has always been right in the end and may be right again. Burry recently shared a 53-page article talking about the micro and macro elasticity of markets and the intuition behind the GIV estimator. Unless if you're a market expert, you're probably confused as to what I just said. Although the research report sounds complicated, the concept is actually quite simple. Let's say an investor sells $1 of bonds and purchases $1 of stocks. The question is, what will happen to the overall valuation of the bond and stock market? A simple model would tell you that the bond market would go down by $1 and the stock market would go up by $1. This is not the case in reality. Using a variety of calculations, researchers found out that $1 invested in the stock market would actually result in the market going up by $5. This is because when people purchase stocks, it incentivizes mutual funds to purchase stocks as well. For example, let's say someone invested $10 in the stock market, which leads stock prices to increase by $10. This causes a mutual fund to invest $10 in stocks as well because they want to get in on future returns. Because that mutual fund invested $10, stock prices would increase by $10 again, bringing the total increase to $20. That $20 increase would then lead another mutual fund to invest $10, bringing the total market to increase $30. According to the mathematical models in this research report, every $10 invested in the stock market right now would cause the overall market to go up by $50. The problem with this ratio is that it won't always stay the same. Burry tweeted that if $5 incremental market value results from $1 added to stocks and 90% of millennials, aka future wealth owners, are in passive market vehicles, that 5 to 1 ratio will get much, much sillier in time. COVID didn't stop it. Inflation might not. Hashtag epiphany. Burry then elaborated by saying that the first step is to recognize that 5 to 1 is not a natural ratio. It's a product of a paradigm. So what will continue this paradigm? What may reverse it? This is the knife's edge. Because we're at 5 to 1, it may go to 100 to 1, or become negative 5 to negative 1. But parabolas don't resolve sideways. Because market valuations are extremely high, a small negative event could trigger a massive crash ahead. Nobody knows when a market crash is coming, but almost any bearish event can trigger a crash. As we've covered in previous videos, Michael Burry believes that we're in a situation similar to the dot-com bubble. Burry found out that the price movement 15 years before the year 2000 was heavily correlated to the most recent 15 years. He tweeted that there's a 94% correlation between the NASDAQ 100 in the 15 years to today and the 15 years to 2000. The S&P 500 shows 95%. On Twitter, Burry endorsed a financial analyst who claimed that the Chinese markets are becoming a car crash, of which the rest of the world could be a victim too. Note the date, Burry tweeted, enclosing a tweet from 20th of July 2021. This is why if you want to be informed or be cool, 
you should read every thread on hashtag Evergrande slash China slash Contagion the last few months by at the last bear STA1. In the enclosed Twitter thread, the unnamed analyst explained how the biggest risk to equities is contagion in the Chinese markets. The parallels to US in September 2008 are striking. Critical policy decision relating to saving a failing bank with bad assets over levered on a property bubble. Unless Beijing steps in with a strong statement to support these firms, the risk of contagion is very real, the analyst warned. Burry's tweet instantly drew attention from Wall Street Bet's Reddit thread. A post simply titled, Michael Burry confirms China collapse incoming $12 trillion, has been upvoted 1.8 thousand times in just two days. The largest Ponzi scheme in human history is about to fold, a $12 trillion credit market based on empty dilapidated apartment buildings. We all knew this was coming, and if you don't know, well, now you know, the post reads. 870 comments were left on the post, with the majority praising Burry's insight. Burry has since deleted all of his tweets. With over 300 billion US dollars of debt on its books, investors have been expecting Evergrande to declare bankruptcy any day now. Efforts by Evergrande themselves to shun rumors regarding their bankruptcy were only met with increased speculation that the company will collapse. Even the Wall Street Bets community has been weighing in about the future of the troubled Chinese firm. Last week, legions of angered investors stormed Evergrande's headquarters in Shenzhen, demanding that the company repay their dues. Meanwhile, on Reddit, a video of billionaire Guo Wenghui predicting China's Evergrande's collapse from 2017 has been circulating. Evergrande has since extended an olive branch to disgruntled investors, offering them discounted property in lieu of the debt owed. According to CNBC, Evergrande is now snowed under a crushing debt of $300 billion. The company, described as the world's most indebted property developer, has struggled to pay its suppliers and has warned investors it may default on its debts. Mark Williams, the chief Asia economist at Capital Economics, says Evergrande's collapse would be the biggest test that China's financial system has faced in years. Dan Wang, an economist at Hong Seng Bank, said Evergrande is such an important real estate developer, and it would be a strong signal if anything happened to it. Believe there will be some supporting measures from the central government, or even the central bank, trying to bail out Evergrande. Burry capped off his Twitter posting on Sunday evening with a link to a Wall Street Journal article that states there's no support to the Federal Reserve's idea that inflation is already coming back down. Burry tweeted at the Federal Reserve, So are you lying to us, or are you lying to us? Well, that's it for today's video, guys. Also, we would like to mention that this is not a channel intended specifically to provide financial advice, and we do not ask you to invest in any company. This is merely a channel directed towards bringing educational content to your doorstep. With that in mind, before you invest in anything, we recommend you do thorough, wide-spectrum research on the topic. And make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time on Michael Burry Secrets. Bye.